the National Hispanic Leadership Agenda as we know it today started in a different way. It started as an effort to bring Latinos together across regions, national origins, organizations, Democratic, Republican, conservative, liberal, various religious groups, bring everybody together around the campaign of 1988. The genesis of NHLA was really in the hope that so many had that we as a community could come together and work on a common agenda. My predecessor, Raul Isaguire, was truly a pioneer in this regard. Remember that there was a time when there was really no such thing as a Hispanic community, and that most Latinos saw themselves first and foremost as Mexican Americans, Puerto Ricans, Cuban Americans, and so on. Unusual at that time for those of us from different countries to get together and to focus on a single agenda. But the goal here was to make for a better America, to create opportunities for our families and to improve the lives of all Americans. And I think we did that. It launched a whole new era uh, in Latino empowerment. For the first time, we gave voice to our community that was heard at the highest level of national politics. But one thing came across very, very strongly. It was the commitment to unity. We felt that we were doing something very, very important that no other group has done in the country. There are differences within the community, but there are things that unite us uh, as members of the Latino, Latino community. So this was an opportunity for all of us to come together on our individual agendas and say, what, what distinguishes the Latino voice? That's why NHLA is, is so unique, because not only we release our public policy agenda, and we also have our congressional scorecards, but we also have campaigns and we bring these organizations to coordinate campaigns and mobilize all over the nation to send those messages on education, immigration, health, criminal justice, all the issues that are so critical. the National Hispanic Leadership Agenda has clearly met its mission and vision over the course of the last 25 years. You have this organization that has really been one of the strongest advocates on behalf of the Latino community all across the country. The voice of the Latino community is now secure. It's secure because it now lies in the hands of a leadership generation that will not be denied. We have a group of phenomenal young uh, people who are now in leadership positions in their organizations and in the NHLA that is going to be the driving force for the NHLA in the future. I'm looking forward to the future. I know NHLA is the most important space of unity that we have in the community to make sure that we send strong messages to the nation on what are the priorities that we have uh, as a community and as a coalition. Despite our differences, despite our national origins, despite our political partisan leanings, there is such a thing as a Latino agenda.